So one thing that we've been doing is looking at a lot of knowledge graphs and seeing if we can capture all this information in a knowledge graph where, you know, this gene is associated with this disease and this drug is targeting this protein and, and bridging all that together and then pulling out that information. So we say for this target, this is kind of the knowledge space around it. And this is the diseases that are associated with this. So, so that is one attempt to kind of making it easier and to harmonize the data retrieval to support and validate these proposals. But I think the other aspect is also to have computational data-driven proposals, right? So we, we use the data omics or also the knowledge graph because there we can maybe do link prediction and say are the patterns in the topology of the graph that suggest that, you know, maybe it's not, not everything has been explored, right? These are incomplete. We're still learning. We're still adding information to this knowledge graph in a way. So there might be certain genes that are important for a disease, but that link has not been established yet scientifically. But the graph might help you because they're connected in a certain way. And then they say there's a very strong likelihood that this gene is really involved in this disease.